My name is Dr. Fuller. I would like to introduce you to the mathematical world around you. Have you ever wondered why you need to learn about fractions? Fractions are a way to represent parts of a whole value. Anytime we want to deal with values that are not whole, we often work with fractions. First, a fraction is a way to represent the number of equally sized parts compared to the whole amount. The numerator is the number of equal size parts with which you are working. The denominator is the number of the same sized pieces if the whole were divided up evenly. When two fractions represent the same amount, they are called equivalent fractions. When a fraction has a 1 as the numerator, this is called a unit fraction. It represents one part out of the whole. A special type of fraction, known as a mixed number, contains a whole value and a fractional component. When two fractions have the same denominator, we say they have a common denominator. Because a fraction represents equally sized pieces of a whole, we must use the same size parts when we add and subtract them. We can combine the fractions 1 sixth and 4 sixths. Even though 4 sixths and 2 thirds are equivalent fractions, we should not combine them because they do not represent the same size pieces. A common denominator will allow us to combine the fractions. As you can see, one part added to the original four parts means that we have five parts. Each part is the same size if the whole is cut into six equal pieces. In my mathematical world, I have one little problem. My friend Claudia plays soccer on a team of 24 people. She needs help determining which two days to schedule extra practice. For Monday, 1 24th has a conflict, 1 12th has a childcare issue, and 1 8th said they have a transportation issue. This expression represents the whole team minus those who cannot attend. Simplify the expression to determine what fraction of the team can attend on Monday. How many players can practice? For Tuesday, one third has a conflict and one twelfth has a transportation issue. What mathematical statement can you write to express this? What fraction of the team can practice on Tuesday? For Wednesday, one-fourth have a transportation issue. How many players can attend on Wednesday? For Thursday, one-twelfth has a conflict, one-sixth has a childcare issue, and one player has a transportation issue. What fraction of the team can attend practice on Thursday? For Friday, one-sixth has a conflict and one-eighth as a transportation issue. How many players can attend on Friday? Determine which two days have the greatest number of people able to attend practice. Take a look and you will see a mathematical world around you filled with non-whole values. You will often use fractions when using measurements for designing and building items, cooking, and working with time. Fractions are a helpful way to represent parts of any whole. You will find them helpful for making sense of and describing the world around you.